Hello Gemini, welcome to Creators on the Crest. I'm Stephanie and I have a bonus reading for you today on navigating the chaos that's going on in the world at the moment. This was a recommendation from one of my Instagram live participants and I thought it was so appropriate. So what we're going to be looking for is what the Gemini energies have to say about getting caught up in the drama vortexes and the matrices of control and matrices of control. And we'll see how the Gemini wisdom shines through to let people know how they could handle things differently instead of getting caught up. Ooh, Gemini, what a refreshing energy you're bringing in here. So you're kicking us off. You're saying, hey, first of all, you have to be able to see things from a different perspective. You have to approach things with an open mind with the hanged man here. The other and maybe more deeper meaning of the hanged man is that you are actually sacrificing yourself unto yourself. You're going deep into your conscious, your subconscious, your unconscious, and you're vetting out the shadows. You're vetting out the patterns. You are starting to see the ways in which you've been controlled, the ways in which you've been brainwashed. And so the Gemini energies are saying, listen, we've got to let go and look at this from a completely different perspective. So we're going to flip the script here so that people can become more aware. And it's beautiful because the Gemini energies then are moving us into the heart space with the Knight of Cups and the Three of Cups. These are beautiful energies. Gemini, of all people, who is very intellectual, usually in the energy of the swords, you are presenting cups here and bringing people back into the heart and letting people know once you have done the level of work that's required to become aware what's going on in our reality field and how people are being drawn into polarities and being drawn into energies of division and divisiveness and fighting against their fellow man and woman it's you're saying we've got to come back to the heart there has to be a return to love a return to the heart i'm thinking of that marianne williamson Marianne Williamson's book, A Return to Love. Beautiful book. Um, and I think it's on audiobook too. It's all about coming back into the heart. And if we're going to act, we act from that place of love. The Three of Cups comes in with a beautiful collaborative kind of energy where we're coming in and celebrating together. You know, not because we won and they lost and, you know, we're better than them and Ugh, you don't see, you don't see, you're all blind. You know, it's not from that. It's, it's drawing in other perspectives. It's seeing the bigger picture. It's coming together and being able to say, you know, no, we don't agree about everything. And we probably never will because there's different uniquenesses about everyone and their backgrounds and their ancestry and all kinds of things that factor into it. But it does not mean we can't come together in a celebratory manner. And you're, you're kind of giving me that feeling of like the Olympics, the true meaning, you know, and, and then there's, there's people arguing about that, like the opening ceremony and this meant this and that meant that. And people are pouring and dumping energy into all of that and at the expense of their own selves and coming together in their own communities. You know, what if you actually focused on operating from your heart and reaching out, you know, to others in your community, in your space? It's interesting here, Gemini. Here's your swords coming in. Now your swords are coming in to clarify. The hanged man is clarified by the seven of swords. And this came up in one of the water signs energy too. That, you know, once you go through the process of really beginning to do some deep work on yourself and putting yourself through the process of alchemy, through the process of transformation and the transformational fires, this is will lend you to the tendency to start walking away from that which would entice you, hypnotize you, and get you caught in those little subtle net traps and snares. Some of the programming, honestly, to people who are very aware, the programming is very obvious. The tactics, the strategies they're using is very, very obvious. 
but it's not to make anybody feel bad if they don't see that because we were all one point at a place where we didn't see this. We weren't seeing through the illusion, right? Because we're talking about very sophisticated uh, programs of dark magic and manipulation going on behind the scenes, coming forward into the reality field through the media and different things. And you know, so you are, you're showing here that like, no matter when you figure this out, once you do, it's okay to walk away. Go ahead and walk away from it. You don't have to participate in it anymore. The Knight of Cups here is clarified by the Four of Pentacles. It's very interesting because, Gemini, you're showing us a unique perspective here on how to navigate this chaos. The Four of Pentacles can sometimes turn us to an energy where we feel lack. And I think in this particular case, combined with the Knight of Cups, this is very important. You're saying that as people go through that alchemical process and really sacrifice themselves unto themselves and start listening to their greater being, start listening to themselves, their instincts, their body, the, the, the rhythms of the universe and how to align, you're saying that they will start to see what the reality field is lacking and how these programs keep them caught in that mentality. Very important to acknowledge and very important to, to look at here because if you're constantly focused on what everyone else is doing and you're not doing for you and you're not doing for your family, no one's going to, right? How much energy is being dumped into this abyss? Gemini for the Three of Cups, and this is interesting. I feel like this came up before, or maybe it was the Three of Pentacles and the Three of Swords, but we've got the Three of Cups and the Three of Swords here. So the Three of Swords, once I see what you're saying here. So once you have this awareness, there's a sharpening of the intellect. There's a sharpening and a clarity in the mind that comes about for people where they begin to notice, they begin to catch these things faster. So when manipulative energies and the puppeteering of this side, the right, the left, it starts coming up, there's a sharpening of the wit, the intellect, and the consciousness where people begin to catch it sooner. And they begin to say, oh, that's what that is oh, I almost got drawn into that. And so you are showing that once they take a look at it, they do the work and really take a look at it and gain that awareness, admit that it's kept them in a locked down, lacked, lack of mentality, scarcity, that they will begin to get better and better at catching it. So again, you're kind of giving grace. And I love this message. You're giving grace because we all had to come to these awarenesses at some point, and there's still a lot of people yet to come to them, and we're all on our own journey. We're all these beautiful fractals of creation that have to figure this stuff out on our own, right? That's part of the journey. Part of the journey is to make mistakes. And so Gemini's coming in with a bit of grace here, which I really love. And maybe it's because you are so uh, skilled in the dual nature of your own personality. You are the twins after all. So it may have given you a leg up on some of these things. And you're such a strong communicator, Gemini, that, you know, communicating how you operate from the heart is going to be really important. We're going to pull a few oracle cards. The first from the Magical Drum Oracle by Freya Norling. You got number 24, letting go. And it says the grave. This is really interesting, Gemini. And look how it almost looks like your sign, the Gemini sign here, the symbol. Do not pin your happiness to people or circumstances. Accept loss. Do not wallow in regret or disappointment. Justify less. Know that you cannot change the past. Make now count. Something needs to be buried and life needs to go on. Get rid of these attachments that hold you back. 
allow the moments of presence to radiate. This cannot happen if you suffocate them in fears. Let go of control and accept the moment for what it is. Ooh, I love this. This is really beautiful wisdom energy coming through. I like the number six here. It feels like a number of um, progress and celebration coming through from you, Gemini. Let's get one more Oracle card here to close off this bonus reading. These are fun little quick ones that are just nice little messages, reminders, encouragements to those of you out there doing the great work. All right, the Illuminated Earth Oracle. Gemini, you get Cosmos. Cosmos says, sometimes referred to as the fifth element or Akasha, this card represents the divine spirit of unity and can also be seen as a bridge between the physical and the spiritual realms. Here we are assured that completion of our mission is imminent as we move toward our higher purpose. I think the key word there is moving toward your higher purpose. And Gemini, you've reminded us here, you can't move toward your higher purpose unless you've really accepted how you've been controlled. Because moving in your higher purpose there's the controlling energies are not there. There's no need for that because you're in alignment with what is natural. You're in alignment with the cosmic law, with the natural law principles, and that is how we evolve. Gemini, really cool energies. A lot of wisdom you brought in here, a lot of heart wisdom as well that I think from your more astute experience in the dualities has really brought up some important points. I can't wait to see you next time. Thank you for joining.